Plate Spin Migrate is a workload management solution that seamlessly migrates entire server workloads between physical, virtual and cloud platforms in any direction. In this video I'm going to walk you through the process of migrating a Windows server to a VMware ESXi host. We start off by discovering the target infrastructure to which the workload will be migrated. You can see there are several target platforms that may be selected here. Just enter hostname or IP address and some credentials to start the discovery. While that's going on, we can discover the source machines that we wish to migrate. Again, we just enter an address and some administrative credentials. Once the discoveries are complete, we can configure how the migration is to be performed. We first select the target to which the source workload is to be migrated. We are then presented with a single page with all of the migration settings. We'll start at the top and work our way down. The schedule settings define when full and incremental replication activities will be performed. I'll set a daily incremental replication to synchronize changes between the source and target and also to compress the volume data before it's transmitted. The next section is migration settings, which define how Platespin will create the new virtual machine on the target host. Most of the fields are populated automatically using information from discovery, but of course you may edit them to suit your requirements. Data volumes are optional for replication to allow for migrating workloads with SAN attached disks that Platespin doesn't need to copy. During all replication activities, Platespin powers the target virtual machine into a temporary operating system. Since data replication occurs directly between the source and target machines, the Platespin replication environment must be connected to a VLAN with an IP address that allows it to communicate directly with the source workload. If the source workload has multiple network cards, you can configure which ones to use for replication traffic. In the final part of this section, you can reconfigure Windows services before and during replication activities. Application services are typically stopped during the cutover phase so that there is no chance of data loss while Platespin switches the business service from source to target. It's only during the cutover phase that there's any disruption to business services. The target workload section defines the future production settings of the target virtual machine after the cutover is complete. I will connect the VM to a production network and use the original IP address of the source but I could change the IP address, hostname and even the domain registration if I wanted. It is also possible to reconfigure the start mode of Windows services, which is useful, for example, if you wish to disable a hardware agent while migrating a physical server to a virtual platform. The final section of the configuration is the target workload test settings. This looks very similar to the previous section, but it defines the configuration of the target virtual machine for testing purposes. The most important consideration here is that during the test phase, the source machine is still online and therefore you should place the target into a network which has no connectivity to the source environment. Once you are happy with the configuration, click Save and Prepare. Platespin will create the target virtual machine and install an agent on the source, ready for the first replication. Switching to the vSphere console, we can see that Platespin has created the new virtual machine. We're now ready to run the first replication. This can be scheduled to run at a specific time, but I'm going to start it manually. The replication will, of course, take time, depending on the amount of data to be copied, the network bandwidth and other factors. During all replication activities, the target VM is powered on with the Platespin replication environment, which is based on Linux. The target workload runs its own operating system only during testing and cutover phases. At any time after the initial replication, I can test the target virtual machine. Pre-cutover testing is a key feature of Platespin Migrate that minimizes the risk of an unexpected issue during cutover. 
plate spin connects the target workload to the test network, powers it on and prepares the operating system to boot on the new hardware. I can now log into the target workload and perform as much testing as I need to be sure that it's working as I expect. In this demo, I am of course testing a single workload, but I could also test an entire business service comprising multiple servers working together. Pre-cut over testing is particularly important if the identity of the service is changing during the migration. Everything looked okay, so I marked the test as successful. Platespin will undo any changes made to the target by reverting it to a VMware snapshot it took at the end of the last replication. Test success and failure is recorded for auditing purposes. Platespin will perform incremental replications on the schedule we set earlier until we're ready to cut over. We can, of course, perform further test cycles if required. During the cutover phase, it is best practice to perform a final incremental replication with the application stopped to ensure there are no further data changes during the switch. I am starting the cutover now with an incremental replication. Placement will stop the application services as previously configured. Placebin performs all of the tasks typically required to migrate a server from one platform to another. High levels of automation and incremental replication keep application downtimes to a minimum, usually measured in minutes. Platespin cleans up after itself, deleting snapshots and uninstalling the agent from the target. After the cutover, the source machine is powered off and the target machine is in production and has replaced the original server's role. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video today and I hope you found it useful.